Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. I just finished it and you'll see that at the end of the video, but I just want to talk to you about it real quickly. So basically it's a woven friendship bracelet and you can put in your name, whoever's name, whatever word, um, pictures if you have a pattern for that, and just, I've seen Hello Kitty ones, little flower ones, it's so cute. So basically it's just woven back and forth, okay? And um, my background color is the black, as you can see there. But you can use whatever background color, and then you can use whatever colors you would like for your letters. Now, I had shown on my Instagram how I did one for my son, Dorian, which I should have left the bracelet downstairs. I should have brought it up. I'll have pictures for you guys. And everybody really liked it, and so I said I'd make a tutorial. The whole summer went by, and here I am. Literally, my kids already went back to school a couple days ago. I'm sorry. I wish I would have done this so that you guys could do this during vacation, but, you know, maybe new friends are made, and people want to make new bracelets for their friends or whatever. So, um... The pictures you're going to see later are going to be completed, okay? You can start and end your bracelet however you like. I'm just showing you really how to do the letters, okay? So, um, please stay tuned. It's just a series of forward knots and backward knots, or left knots and right knots, whatever you want to call them. And, um, pretty easy. Okay, guys, so to make the bracelet I showed you there, or any of your uh, alpha bracelets, you're going to need your uh, floss or thread, whatever you want to call it. This uh, floss I happened to grab from this prism, um... Uh, brand Enchanted pack. They have lots of different ones. I think they have like sports packs and tie-dyes, which would be really cute, but this um, I happen to pick up at Joann's, and I think they sell them at Michael's also. So I'm going to use the two colors that you saw. I'm going to use the black and this light pink. Now, um, this one actually I bought. It's DMC. It's not from inside this pack, but anyhow. Um, you're going to plan your bracelet around how what letter combo you're using or pattern, okay? So uh, I'm going to have the link for this um, site. It's called, I think it's called friendshipbracelets.net. Friendship-bracelets.net. And they have so many things on here. Patterns, alpha patterns, um, how to make like, just like cool chevron, different types of bracelets. But you have to learn the knots, right? So you always know with friendship bracelets there's left hand knots and right hand knots. And you always do two knots each time whenever you're uh, knotting. But we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so for this it's really basic. You just need to know left and right. So how to go forward and how to go backwards. And, um, follow your pattern basically. So this is a good little tutorial right here. I'll have the link to this page and it's basically showing you how to go ahead and create the bracelet. I am going to use this pattern as this example because I like that it's capital letters so it's easy to see and there are only eight um, lines. Okay so what I'm trying to say by that, let me see if I have something to cover this. You'll find that there's some patterns that have like 20 lines or whatever and you're going to need 20 strings and it's going to be very hard. So this one you only need eight strings and let's say you still want an extra border on the top and on the bottom you can add two more rows, but I'm going to go ahead and follow along like this. So if you look, there's the grid is eight high, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, boxes. And then as wide as it needs to be, right? There are the length. So you kind of want to plan that if you're going to make a bracelet for like I did with the word love or whatever. Um, it's not that long, right? You know, the actual lettering is going to come out kind of short. So what you can do is start off your bracelet with a lot of rows, and I'll mention that right now. Um, like here, they're starting off the bracelet, and then they're going into the letter. So you can start off with a whole lot of dark colored rows before you start your words, or just have a bracelet that's going to have a very small um, patch for the word, and don't worry about it. Do whatever you like, but you'll understand more once I start talking about it. So since it is eight boxes deep, we need eight strings, okay? So you're going to need eight uh, letter colored strings. So whatever color you want your letters, those are what you need to cut, okay? And then the one that goes over it that makes the um, the background, should we say, like this blue. I'm going to use black, okay? So I'm using black for the background, and I'm using pink for the letters. So what I need to do is cut some pink strips, or strands of floss. And um, the black one, I do not cut it. I'm going to show you. I just continue using it just the way it is. I'll find the easier side, see how I pulled that and it kind of gathered too much. There's going to be two ends and you find the end that comes out the easiest of your roll, but I'll talk about that in a second. Or you can wind it up over a floss holder, but I'm just, I just keep it in my hand and I use it that way. As far as the pink one, I'm going to have to go ahead and, like I said, cut eight strands. What I do is cut four strands and then I um, loop them in half. So you can cut eight individual strands or you can just do whatever you like. Okay, now, um, I normally I cut my pink um, strands or the whatever any of them is whenever you're making a friendship bracelet, you know you need a lot of uh, string. On this one, you don't need that much because the background color, or well, I mean, the letter colors, like this pink, isn't going to be used that much except for when you do the letters, so it doesn't have to be super long. But I think what I did last time is I usually take it and I measure the length of my arm and I do that 
two or three times, like two and a half times. So it ends up being about a yard long, okay? So I would say you want to start there and just go from where you need to. But we do need um, four of these, because like I said, I double them over. So if you're making them single strings, you might want to do eh, a two foot strand, you know? So this is about um, a little more than 36 inches a yard long, and I'm going to fold it over, but I need four of these, okay? So I'm going to cut four strands. So I'm going to decide. Just to get started, I'm going to go ahead and fold my four strings in half. So I join the bottom parts just to make sure that it's about half. Okay. And towards the top edge, I'm going to tie this later to make it kind of cute and decorative. But for right now, I just leave it like this. So what I do is I'll take like maybe a four or five inch space at the top and just make a knot. So that later when I undo this, I have plenty of string to like... Um, braid and make it cute at the end, okay? If you don't want to do that, you want to just leave a loop and you can do that, just make your knot higher. So uh, the way you end and, be and begin and end your bracelets is up to you completely, of course, and um, all that. So that's, you know, whatever you like. Now, you need to clip this down. Now you can either clip it to your pants, clip it to the couch, use a friendship bracelet maker that'll hold clip it, use a clipboard, tape it right here like on this surface, which is probably what I'll do because of this tutorial, that way you can see it better. But um, normally I would clip it on something. So let me get some tape and hold this guy down. Okay. So take your first strand, and it's kind of tricky, the first one, because this is going to be at the end. You're not really tying it to anything. It's just there. So when you start doing your pattern, you're going to leave it to the left and pretend that it was part of the bracelet, okay? So if this was stuck in there, tied in, and you do your forward knot, you normally make a number, like a letter, a number four, correct? Or over the, the next strand. So I'm going to hold it there take the rest of my string and put it through. And you can actually just stick this down too if that makes it easier for you because when you pull it's going to want to move but you want to kind of keep it where it is, okay? So I'm holding it down and then you always complete two knots, right? So that was one. So again I'm going to hold I'm going to put this out of the way. I'm actually going to try to stick it down so it's not moving around. Once you start going, it's not going to undo, it's just there. Okay, so there, I did the first forward knot, and now we have to complete it, because you always do two knots. So I'm going to grab my string, grab this guy, push it right through. So now I've just completed two forward knots, which is one complete knot, right? And you want to pull it kind of tight, so I'm going to adjust it. Okay, so there are two forward knots, I'm going to move that to the left. Now I'm going to go to the second string. And all across we're going to do forward knots. So now it's easier because now it's anchored. So just like any other friendship bracelet, let me move out a little bit because maybe you can see better. You hold the background string in your hand, which right now is the pink. You take the string that you're working with and put it inside right behind. Pull up. There's one forward knot. Make your four. You tie it over, and again. So I'm trying to show you guys how to do the forward knots, but if you're not real clear, look up another tutorial on how to do a friendship bracelet, and basically those are forward knots, okay? And backward knots. So then you go to the next string, whichever one you deem is the next string. And again, let me back out a little bit more. Again, two forward knots. So you take your working string, the black one, you make a four, like a figure four over the pink string and then under to out. Okay, again. And I'm going to continue doing this all the way across. So on each string, I'll get the next one, do uh, a complete forward knot. Okay, so now I'm coming across to my last string and I try to keep it nice and straight. You can fix that when you're done, okay, so that it makes a nice straight line. So this is my last string and um, what I'm going to do again is two forward knots. So one to a complete, which is basically called a left hand knot, but anyway, so there it is. So now a nice and complete, and as you can see, there's a nice row of just black um, background floss going across there, okay? Hopefully you can see that. Now what I want to show you on this is, after you're doing that, you can go right into your letters, right? But since, like I said, I'm using a very small word, love, it's only got four letters, I want to do three rows of black. Um, before I start my letters, okay? So, um, I've already done one row going forward. Now we're gonna come back down. We have to bring that black all the way back down. So if you're doing your 
your letter, you can go ahead and start with the black and then you're going to switch out to the pink and then go back to the black to finish as you can see here. Um, but I'm going to do three rows of just solid black. So now we're going to go backwards and do um, our uh, um, a left knot, sorry. The other one was a right knot when you go forward. So now we're going backwards, we're doing right knots. I mean left knots. I'm so sorry with that part. But anyway, you're just going to go backwards. So here we go. So you're going to take that same black and then the last strand that you just worked with and you're just going to again do your, your four but it's backwards, right? So you're going to take that and go over the pink one and bring the black back through underneath. So that's one. One. Two. Okay, so you're doing right hand knots. Okay, and what that does is it's going to bring it so that the black ends up wanting to stay on the left side. And that's what you want because you're going to bring it back down. So that was the eighth uh, string. Now I'm going to go to the seventh string. And again, do two right hand knots. So behind, go over your pink strand and behind it. And go one, two. So I'm going to go across this whole strip going backwards. I'm going to go to number six now, the sixth string. Because we're working across, backward across the, the bracelet in the other direction. Again, your backward or your left hand knot. So one, two. Okay, so I'm going to do that till I get back across to the first string. Okay, I just to make my last right hand knot. I already did one, here's two. And here we are back at the beginning, so the black is over here to the left. And again, you can kind of take your time to kind of push your your little strings in a row so it's nice and neat. Now again, I'm going to do one more row all the way back, just in the black in the background um, strand because I want to, like I said, build it up before I start the name or the word. So I'm going to take this again and now left ha uh, right hand knots. So you're going to take your black over the pink, over on top of your pink back underneath up through and again two right hand knots okay and then again go to number two and do your two knots so I'm going to go all the way across the row again it comes easier after you did that first establishment row after that you can just keep going and it's pretty cool so there it goes and I'm going to continue going across till I get to the very end finish that third row and as you can see it's all three rows of just black and it's really cool if you look at it it's like woven kind of cool um, so now we're going to start the actual letter rows so if you go to friendshipbracelets.net you're going to see that that's going to be slightly different because of the way you have to use the back, the letter color okay so we'll talk about that in just a minute but um, so to start off our letter I'm looking for the letter L and it's right here as far as how it's done so I'm gonna if I have phone was actually if I press this you can save the actual pattern but if I phone was sideways you would have one black uh, six pink um, coming through and then one black right at the end of the letter so you have starting there this and then the last guy okay to cap it off so if you look in the instructions on how to do your letters you go ahead and do the letters um, either black background in the in the direction that you're going so right now I am going back down the bracelet if you were going up the bracelet you're gonna go forward just begin your um, right hand knots but since I'm going back down the bracelet we're gonna do left hand knots okay so I'm gonna do two backwards or two left hand knots and this example is what I would do but I'm doing an L so I'm gonna do one backward or left hand knot right so one with the black just like we were doing so here's one two to complete that knot and now you're gonna bring the black over here because you need it but you're gonna use your pink to tie over the black so you're gonna do opposite of what you just did so right now I did um, left hand knots to go in this direction when you go to tie your your letter color it has to go in the opposite direction okay so I'm gonna take that f number seven pink okay the one that's right next to that black and we're gonna do right hand knots over it so it's gonna be the opposite direction of what I just did so I brought the black in to the um, moving over this way so we're gonna bring the pink um, in the up opposite direction now 
if you notice, the black wants to kind of come across straight, okay? The way it's um, situated. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Black seems to want to come across straight, and that's good because you want the black to come across as you're putting pink over it. So what I do is I normally hold it kind of that way, tug it towards the left, and I'll pull the pink up over, okay? So there's one, and then two, right? With that strand, that pink strand, you're going to do two right-hand knots. And keeping the black kind of moved over. Okay, so there's my two. I'm going to leave that pink strand. I'm going to come over to the next strand, which is number six, right? And I'm going to take the black and hold it in my left hand, kind of bring it over towards the, toward the right, to the left, sorry. I'm going to take my pink and again, two right hand knots. Now you don't have to hold your thread like I am, the black thread, or your background thread to the left, or, you know, hold it this way. It just makes it easier and it looks nicer, so your knot sits nice and even as you can see there and you can even see there's some space there just tighten up that pink knot okay so now I'm gonna go and grab string number five pink string number five and again do two right hand knots over that black keeping the black kind of straightish Hopefully you're understanding this because this is so fun they come out so easy so I'm gonna continue doing this till I get to the very last pink strand and I'm not going to use that one I'm going to cover it with black so let's go ahead and get number four and number four is going to go ahead and go over the black okay so I've come across them at the second to the last one so this is going to be the last one that I use the pink I'm going to do my knots here and it starts kind of bunching up but you can take care of that in a minute okay so that's the last one if you recall because on the pattern the very bottom of the grid is going to be the background color. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my black in my right hand and we're going to do a backward knot. So up over the pink and through the middle because we're traveling back down basically. And that would be the first part of my letter L according to the grid and if you put the black over here where it's supposed to be here you'll see the little knots there right so there's your letter L starting okay so what we're gonna do now is we have to bring the black up and this next one so you're gonna hold your pink down and do a regular forward knot bring the back up one two Okay, there's always going to be a black border, so the black is always going to be the first one bringing up and this first row bringing it down on the other side. So I'm going up, and if you recall, let me show you here, um, on the letter L, the next one is just going to have a small bump at the bottom. Oops. Okay, so we're working on it this way, correct? So we just did that line where there's a bump, six pink, and there's a little black bump at the bottom. So now we just came up, we're going to do the black bump, there's going to be one pink dot, and then the rest is going to be black all the way up that row. Okay, so very easy. I am going up and I'm doing forward knots, so you have to do a backwards knot with the pink, right? You have to do the opposite of what you were doing. So I'm going to take that second pink string, and it's already wanting to do that anyway because the pink string is in my right hand and you're doing a backwards knot. So I'm going to take the pink, put it over the black, do my backward knot, and of course you do two to finish it off. And there's one, and do the second one two and then after that the rest of it's just going to be black so L is pretty easy so I'm going to put the pink over to the left which it wants to go that way anyway when you put it down it kind of wants to go to the left now I'm going to take my black background string and just continue all the way up in order so string number three is next I'm going to take my black string in the background and go and do two forward knots going up is always easy it's just regular friendship bracelet knotting you know so and what I mean by going up is going up this direction to the right. So now I'm going to go all the way across the rest of the um, five strands and just doing straight um, forward knots. Okay? And I'll continue in this way with the pattern, but I'll show you one more row after I'm done with this. So I'm going to continue up right, and I'll be right back. And that was the first one, and here's my second forward knot at the very end. So now that we're done with that row, you can again lay them down and kind of have a look at what you're doing. So cute. There's the back of my L and there's the bottom 
uh, part of it. And if you continue going with your pattern, um, I need to make two more dots. That's kind of how I look at it. I look at it far ahead. So we just finished this row, the second row on the L. So now the third row coming down on the L, you're going to do all black except for the second to the last one's going to be pink and then the last one's going to be black, right? And the next row, you're going to start one black, one pink, the rest black, okay? And then after that, you're going to do a row of just solid black. Or some of them, and pretty much they all have a row in between just to keep the letters separate. But if you're doing a cursive style or whatever, just continue following the way you're supposed to. Some of them won't leave a space, okay? But right now we do have a space after the letter. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. So the third row of my of my L is saying to do to go back down, obviously, or whatever direction. You might be on the opposite, depending on how many rows you started with, wherever you're at. Just go the opposite way. It's pretty easy to follow these things. You just got to follow your pattern. So again, backward knot. So I'm bringing the black over the pink and through. And I'm going to go all the way down with this backward knot. All right, we'll do two to complete that one. Oh, starts getting kind of loose. Let me tighten it up a little bit. Go to the next one. I'm going to do all of them with the backward knot with the black over the pink until I get to the second to the last string because in the pattern that one needs to be pink. So I'm going to continue with my backward knots and moving in down the way and I'll be right back. That last knot before the pink one, the second to the last pink one. So again, in my pattern, this is going to be, should show up. So now I'm going to single that color out, the pink, the second to the last strand. I'm going to bring my black over and basically you're going to do a forward knot because you're going backwards. Remember, whatever you're doing with your background, the color string is going to do the opposite. So right now I was going backwards, doing backward knots. I'm going to do a forward knot. So I'm going to bring the pink up over the black, around through the middle, you know, right up in the back. Just your straight forward knot. And we're going to do one, two to complete the knot. So I do that twice. I've completed that knot. I can leave the pink string to its own. Now I'm going to put the black back in my right hand and then finish off my my backward knots. Go down the backward knot and again black over the pink through backward knot. So that is the end of that third row for the L. Now the fourth row and the L is going to require again one black at the beginning, one black knot. So we're going forward because we're moving forward. So forward knot which is always the easiest for me to do. And the last one in the pattern for this L is the pink. It should be going up over the black, so I'm gonna get that second string, the pink one. And since we're going forward, the pink has to go backwards. Remember, it goes opposite. And it's kinda e easy to know, because it'll, it'll be in your right hand anyway, so the pink, the one you're working with, is in the right hand. I'm gonna go up over the black, make a backward knot. Pull it nice and tight. Whenever you're working with the pink, you kind of want to pull it nice and tight so that um, your letter situates really nicely. Okay, and now put the pink over to the left because you're done with that. Now you're going to take the black again and continue working your forward knots across the row. So two forward knots, one, two. Next one. It gets so much easier once you've established your rows. It's ridiculous. It's so easy to make these. So again, forward forward till I get to the end of the row. Okay, I'll be right back. Just finish that super quick and if you bring it down you can see all your little strands. Really cute. That's my L. That's the end of it. So we're going to do one row of just your background color. So in my case it's just black um, to separate the letters, right? So now we're going to go working to the left, which are all back backward knots. So I'm going to take my black, put it up over, and again one, two backward knots all across every single strand. Okay, so there's those. I'm going to go to number seven, do the two, go to six, do the two, all the way across until I get to the left side of my bracelet. Okay, same thing. This is easy. Just backward knots, straight across. Okay, so I just finished that whole row. And look how cute that is. I love it. The L is nice and clear. You know, as you can get more into it, you can start doing other things. But right now, I think basic uh, capital letters is perfect for uh, beginners. So the next thing is going to be the O. So um, here's O. And as you can see, O would start off with two black, um, oops, two black um, spaces, right? The first two should be black, uh, four pink, and then two black again. So in this situation, since we're on the left, I'm going to do two black dots, um, working two, you know, forward knots for the first two, and then 
you're going to take the four pink middle ones. These are all going to be worked in the pink. Remember? So forward, forward. These are all going to be backward, 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 backward. And then when you get to the end, you're going to do, again, black over pink forward knots. Okay, and you just continue your pattern that way. You just keep going back and forth, up and down, up and down. Whenever you use the letter color, you're going to go opposite of what you were doing, if you recall. Same thing, and just keep going. So I'll, I'll be back when I'm pretty much done with the letters. Okay, okay. So I'm pretty much done with the letters. And this literally took me maybe 20 minutes. Uh, what I like about the weaving is that it works up really fast. So anyway, as you can see the L, O, V, and the E I just finished. So what I'm going to do with this is just go ahead and do... Um, three rows of all black, um, like I began it, remember if you recall I did one, two, three rows and then I started the L. So after this E, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, little wad of um, background thread, which is the black. And I just want to show you how as I hold it, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. There's not much left. There's pretty much no way to gauge how much of this you need to do a bracelet. You just need a ton. So that's why I just started off, leave it on the spool like that and just keep pulling as you're going. It's pulling and it's coming out of the... Um, you know, the little area over here. So, um, so now, uh, since my black thread ended up over here, I'm going to just finish three rows doing backward knots all the way down this row, come back up doing forward knots, and then go all the way back down doing backward knots in the next, next, next row. So I'm going to continue working, and I'll be right back. So I just finished it super quick. So now you have this long thread. You have several long pink threads. I mean, that's probably too much that I cut to begin with, but like I said, it's kind of hard to gauge how much. Um, if you don't want to waste too much, but at the same time you don't want to run out. So if you're using a longer name or a name that involves more of the um, pink or whatever your letter color is, then you, of course you want to go longer. I probably could have gotten quite a bit shorter. So what I'm going to do is take all the extra threads down here and cut them with about six inches left on each one. Okay, so I'm just going to measure this way like this, leaving six inches. And I'm going to cut it off. And... I'm going to end mine with a braid. So I'm, you can take all these, you can twist them. You know, if you'll do twist it and then it twist back up. If you're going to do that, you're going to need longer ends, obviously, like I had before. But what I'm going to do is, I like braiding them. I think it's cute. So I divide them into like four and four, and then the black one's just going to be extra on one side. So there's four pink, four black ones. I mean, four pink on either side, and then the black one. And what I do is I take them just like this, and I braid them to make little skinny braids, okay? And on the other side, just like hair, just braid it until you're done and make a knot at the end. And on the other side, since I remember I had started it leaving some extra because I was going to braid it too, I just come over here. Um, what you can do is just trim this on the edge here. You can undo the knot. You can leave the knot. You can put a knot on this side if you want it to look more like the other side and then go from there. I usually undo the knot and then um, braid that edge too. Okay, and braiding in the black part. So what I would do is, well, right now you can undo it. Since it's still together, I don't want to cut it in half and then undo it. So let's undo the knot. And then you don't have the knot to begin with. You could just lay down your strands however you want. Or if you're going to do whatever you want to do to begin and end your um, bracelets. There's so many creative ideas out there. It's crazy. I'm doing just that. So now you can see it's not going to fall apart. You know. And I'm going to go to the end. And again, just cut this. And again, braid four and four with one side having some of the little black in it, just to weave that into. And um, that's it. So I will um, have pictures for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it didn't confuse you too much. It's not that hard. You just have to practice. And once you get it down, I mean, you can make these things up so quickly. It's crazy. And all your friends can have one and kids, whatever, yourself. Anyway, um, I hope to see you guys at the next one. Bye now.